introduction. And I would like also to apologize uh, to come late because it's the constraint of time that just to deliver our statement also regarding the Western Sahara we might, uh, go in the, in the general debate. Honorable uh, Ms. Lovina Vision Sapa, Deputy Minister of Justice of the Republic of Nigeria. Your Excellency Obi Bashir, Minister for Europe of the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic. Your Excellency, distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, it is an honor for me to welcome you, I suppose I have to speak before, all to high level site events in my capacity as chair of the Geneva Support Group for Western Sahara. I wish to remember that this group is composed of 13 countries, Algeria, Angola, Botswana, Cuba, Mozambique, Namibia, Nicaragua, South Africa, Tanzania, Timor-Leste, Uganda, Venezuela, and Zimbabwe. The Polisario Front and the American Association of Jurists are also part of the group. It is a particular privilege for me and my country to coordinate for the second time this group. As you know, historical similarity and fraternity marks the relation between Timor-Leste and the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic. The government and the people of Timor-Leste have always shown a very strong commitment to the Sahrawi people and the authority of the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic. Last week, our President of the Republic had reaffirmed Timor-Leste support for the Sahrawi people right to self-determination. Monitoring that without hearing them, a solution will not be found. Timor-Leste was to a non-self-governing territory and like the Sahrawi people. We went through a painful period of war and caused more than devastation that anyone can imagine. But we finally succeed after a long course for exercising the right to self-determination and achieve independence in 2002. The African continents know well the struggle I'm in describing. And often we turn to them, hoping to learn from past experience and looking for ideas to save the way forward. At the time, our national movement for liberation looked, for example, at the, moment, at the movement taking place in Angola and Mozambique. For Timor-Leste, giving up was never an option, not even when we were facing the most daunting challenge. There were times where we felt forgotten, but there were others where we felt the support of the international community, including the support of the former colonial power. The support we felt encouraged us even more, and Timor-Leste knows firsthand how important is the support we are all giving up today to Western Sahara. Just by being present in this room, and for that, I thank you. 44 years after the United Nations General Assembly asked Spain in each capacity as administrating power to organize a referendum in Western Sahara, allowing the Sahrawi people to exercise their right to self-determination and to independence. And 29 years after the establishment, establishment of Minersur, the people of Western Sahara hasn't yet been given the opportunity to exercise the right to self-determination. Western Sahara remained the last colony in Africa, a territory that the United Nations recognized to be under the illegal occupation. 16 years of war and 45 years of occupation of Western Sahara have caused the continue to cause systematic and serious violation of human rights. Only a few months separate unilateral declaration of independence of Timor-Leste and Western Sahara while we were fighting for our independence in either on the battlefield or in the international forum. We often thought that, well, Western Sahara is going to be independent first, then us. Now, after 40 years, we have passed for our brother and sister of Western Sahara and little or no advance have been made, which leads us to ask where we are, where are we, nation, regional, and multilateral organization failing. 
He more or less appealed to the country involved in the conflict to enter into a constructive and genuine dialogue with the support of the African Union and other African human rights organizations. It is this spirit that we decided to focus these high level events on the strengthening of the cooperation between Africa and the United Nations human rights mechanism. And, look for, and I look forward to hear all the presentation of the panel. I thank you. I thank you, Mr. Fernandez.